Good morning, YouTube. Due to the wave of 15 years old swarming the Discord server after seeing the flipper on the TikTok, we have been getting a plethora of retarded questions that could honestly be easily resolved by a three-minute Google session. But as we all know, people don't fucking read. So here I am explaining to you the most basic common sense regarding a tech device and. Hopefully, y'all stop spamming the Discord chat. Today, I am showing you how to add sub-G Hertz or infrared files to the flipper, and use them. This method works for bad USB scripts, NFC, and 125K Hertz RFID. And honestly, it'll work for any occasions where you need to add files to your flipper. And these files are basically captured signals for all kinds of devices. They contain the correct protocol and formatting of information, and will grant you access to such devices with your flipper. Okay, first you will need an M micro SD card reader. The file system on the flipper and how it connects to the PC makes copying files with Q flipper extremely sluggish, so you need to invest in a card reader. Once you got that, mount the SD card from settings and plug it into the PC. Now you will need the actual files themselves. First, you will need to download an app called Gitbash. <clears throat> then go to the linked repo, and you will find a collection of files for Flipper. The easiest way to do this is to clone the entire repo, and whenever new files get added in the future. Just update your repo and replace the database in the SD card with your updated repo, instead of trying to figure out which ones you already have or not. Clone the repository with the four following command. Remember, you can always designate a folder for Gitbash to clone your repo to. After you have cloned the repository. Simply fucking drag the entire folder into the corresponding ones in your SD card. Sub-G Hertz files go to the Sub-G Hertz saved folder. Infrared files go to the infrared folder. Bad USB scripts go to the bad USB folder. That's it. Once you have everything, navigate to the desired menu, go to saved, and simply emulate the signal. Note that official firmware does not support certain frequencies that span in your region, or some protocols. You can always update to unofficial firmware to circumvent that issue. And that's all I got for you guys today. Think for yourself. Don't be a sheep. Later.